The latest from Team Zorin. This is number 16.2 from Zorin OS. They gave me a heads up on this about a week ago. They asked me not to publish anything until today, the official release date. And I got to tell you, I just bought a new LED full HD monitor. Zorin OS looks absolutely stunning on a brand new HD monitor. These guys, these two brothers, these guys are good. These guys are really good. All right, so I downloaded both the core and the pro version. If you are a content creator, want to be a content creator, want to do podcasting, multimedia stuff, I recommend the pro. It's going to give you more selection of creative software, suite of apps. If you're not going to do that, then the core version, which I'm looking at now, is perfectly fine. Of course, when you buy the pro version, you are supporting the Zorin team, and you should if you like what you see. So let's take a look at this inside a virtual box. I did, by the way, install the pro version, a full install in an older laptop. It's fine, but for now, since I got a new monitor, I'm just going to go testing this. This is based off Ubuntu, uh, the LTS, which is the latest one is uh, 22.04. And what the Zorin team has done is take the GNOME desktop, which, what's, which is what this has, and the plain Jane vanilla GNOME desktop is just not user-friendly for beginners. In fact, it sucks in my opinion. You have to install tweaks, extensions, to make it easier for the Windows user to navigate through. For example, the tweaks in this, if you right click, if I wanted to move the taskbar from the bottom to the top, which you cannot do in Ubuntu, by the way, Ubuntu is fine, but you can't do that. You can just right click on the tweak, click top, and you can move the taskbar to the top. What about the theme? You know, this is too light, you wanna go dark, no problem. Right click, Zorn Appearance, tweak, we go to theme and we can pick dark. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal? Well, you can't do this normally easily with a Linux based system that has the GNOME desktop by default. You have to install extensions. You have to go find them, install them and pray on the Holy Bible that they work. That's just the way it is. Zorn eliminates all the headaches. You don't need a uh, bottle of Tylenol. <laughs> to make Linux work, at least not with Zorn. Okay, so let's move on. Let's take a look at what's installed here real quick. All right, we'll click the Z menu, as I like to call it. Accessories, I showed you the weather. Click back, we'll go to games. I don't play that much games in Linux, I'll be honest. I do like the uh, Tux Racer, that thing is so funny. Click back, graphics, internet, Firefox, by default, to be perfectly honest, I prefer I prefer Chrome. It's just faster and seems like it's more stable. Just a personal preference. Office, the LibreOffice suite, very good. Sound and video. With the Pro version, you'll have more collection of media suites, uh, software to make it easier for you, as an example. But for this, I would probably, Rhythmbox is great. Brazero for burning CDs. I don't use it as much, but it works. I would probably install audacious for a lightweight music player and i would ins definitely install vlc the quintessential media player for both linux and windows system tools uh, let's see let's go to settings all right so if you've played with ubuntu before you may have seen this or played with zorn before to the left here your collection of shortcuts for settings i won't go through all of this but bluetooth background in fact, on the background, I live in Ohio. I want to feel warmer. Let's click the lighthouse. Let's do that. I think I like that one. So, yeah, I'm feeling warm and fuzzy already. All right. What else do we have here? Let's see. We're at system tools. We'll click back. Utilities. And let's see. Anything here that sticks out? Let's look at the system monitor. All right. Memory 2 gig. I suspect as a full install, it'll be less. In fact, it should be 1 point some gig RAM, which is perfectly normal. Again, the taskbar at the top. Let's go to the Zorin appearance. Let's give this a quick different look. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one here. And I think with the pro version, they give you either two more or four more Zorin appearance option uh, extension. So yeah, this is more... Um, I dare say more Ubuntu-ish. 
if you're looking for something like that. Again, on, I, look guys, on, on a brand new LED full HD monitor, this really, really looks stunning. Thank God I got it because I was using an older 720p monitor and I wear contacts. My eyes were, oh, they were killing me. What was I saying? All right, let, let's go back uh, to the default look of this, which I believe was this, right? I think it was. Okay, all right. We'll leave that there, and uh, the taskbar, I like it at the top, so let's right-click. Again, just the right amount of tweaks and extensions over Ubuntu to make it truly the most complete Linux total OS for the masses, right up there next to the Chromebook. And I would not consider a Chromebook a total Linux OS, as it were. It's good, but this should be next to that Chromebook in a Walmart or whatever you buy your computers. That's how good this is. Zorin team, the two brothers, I believe, well done. Like I said, these guys are good. They're really good. Take out the, check out the latest from Zorin OS. You will not be disappointed. Arrivederci, my friends. Now, where did, where did I drop my phone here in this ocean? Huh, I need to make a call.